All right, now let's get into the different tunings that are commonly used for slide guitar. And the first one I'd like to talk about is open E tuning. Now, open E tuning uh, is a tuning wherein you tune the strings so it's akin to fretting a normal first position E cowboy chord. So the low sixth string would stay E, but the A string now has to sound what would normally be fretted at the second fret, which is a B note, so. That's gonna go up to B. And then the D string has to go up a whole step to E. So the bottom three strings are E, B, E, and then the G string, because normally you fret like that for a, an E open position chord, the G string's got to go up a half step to G sharp. And then the B string stays the same as normal, and the high E string stays the same as normal. So now if we strum across all the strings, you have an open E chord, E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. Dwayne Allman, when he played slide, he always played an open E regardless of the key that the song was in. And uh, Statesboro Blues is a song that they would play in the key of D. So if you were going to solo in D using an open E tuning, uh, here's where the riffs would fall. So we're going to go between the 10th fret and the 8th fret. This is for D. So laying across the 10th fret, that's D. And you would go 10, 8. And then the additional higher notes, 13th fret on the top three. And then you could go to the 15th for another root note, another D note, 13, 15, 17. This is going up your D minor pentatonic scale, 20, 22. All right, now let me show you a slide solo. We're still in open E, but this is going to be in the key of D, and this is going to be over tracks on the, similar to Statesboro Blues, played in the style of Dwayne Allman. I started off in 10th position, so 10th fret, pull back on the high E string to 10th fret on the B string. Now you can see I'm finger picking, and after the initial, I play on the G string and the B string. So I'm kind of bouncing off the G string for each of the notes on the B string. But those G string notes are kind of ghosted. They're just sort of alluded to. So that second time, I'm going up to the high F note, minor third. So right here, split up to 17, 13.
So this is over the five chord. So those quick pullbacks. Again, this is bouncing off that G string just for the rhythmic quality of it. Then up to 13. So we're vibratoing 13th fret on the G string and the B string. And then a pullback all the way down from 13 down to 8. And that's like that Elmore James lick. Let's continue our look at the playing of Dwayne Allman. We're going to talk about uh, a great old blues tune uh, called One Way Out. Dwayne Allman did some great slide playing on One Way Out. So this next example is going to be in that style. And this is another example of playing an open E tuning, but not in the key of E. This one's in the key of A. So let me first show you some scale positions to play in A, and then I'm going to play a solo over a one way out kind of a groove. So like our other scale positions, uh, we're going to have uh, the same kind of a span, but starting from the fifth fret, that's our A chord, so we're going to go 5-3 on all the strings. You can go three frets higher on the top three strings. If you go up to the tenth fret, there's your root note again. And like we had before, we're going to go straight up minor pentatonic, this time in the key of A. Eighth fret, tenth fret, twelfth fret, fifteenth fret. 17th fret. Uh, now, this kind of links us to the exact same type of scale position, but played an octave higher. So we're going to go between the 17th and the 15th fret. And then three frets higher on the top three strings. So I started by sliding. So then I switched to a real classic Dwayne Allman type of lick where you pull back repeatedly on the D string from the root note to the seventh with the fifth on the A string. Be sure when you're picking to make those notes jump out clearly uh, and separate from each other. So then, that's over the four chord over D. 17, 15 or 16 to 17 on the B. Up to 20 on the high string. And then I went up what would be the 24th fret. 
which is pretty much right over the screw on the pickup. Good thing to aim for. And I did a repeated lick like that. So you pick a note and then pick it again and slide down from it. And then I went back to that for the break. So don't forget the contrary motion. Up, back, up, and back. That time up, two back. Up, and then right on it. Hi, I'm Andy Allardort and welcome to the ultimate guide to slide guitar. In this DVD, I'm going to be showing you all the things you need to know to get into playing slide guitar. So to play an Elmore James style, you just stay right in that 12th position where the E triad is. <laughs> 